I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 here, and like virtually all Android devices, there are some applications installed on this device that cannot be removed. The list of apps that are set as system apps and are not allowed to be uninstalled will vary depending on where you got the device from. So today I want to show you how to use ADB to uninstall these unwanted bloatware system apps from the Galaxy S22, the Galaxy S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So many wireless carriers end up installing a variety of bloatware applications, and they set the smartphone up so the apps cannot be uninstalled. For some, I have noticed Facebook applications are installed as system apps. And even for those who bought the phone directly from Samsung, we have Microsoft apps that are pre-installed on the device. So thankfully, many of these apps can be uninstalled by simply long pressing on the app icon, tapping the little eye to take us to the app info page, and then tapping the uninstall button down there at the bottom. But again, some of these are set up as system apps and they are not able to be fully installed using traditional methods. You can see that here with the OneDrive application. Instead of an uninstall button, I have a disable button. If you were to have root access, then you can use a special application to delete them from your device. But for everyone else, we can use a single ADB command to uninstall these apps from the default user profile. This prevents the application from being used and will not allow the service to run in the background either. So if you have root access, check the video description below as I have already done a tutorial for those who want to go down that route. However, if you do not have root access, just like I do not have root access to this device, then we will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. And I have created a specific tutorial for that as well. And you can find that link in the video description too. Now we're also going to need to have developer mode enabled so that we can go in and enable USB debugging mode. This is required in order for your smartphone to recognize and execute the ADB command we will use in a little bit. And the last thing that you're going to need is an app that displays the application package name of the apps on your device. These are free and can be found in the Google Play Store. And I'll be linking to this one in the video description as well. So once you have your application package name app installed, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to want to search for one of the apps that you want to remove with ADB. In this case, I want to remove the OneDrive application. So I did a search for OneDrive and found this app. So the OneDrive application on my device has the package name of com.microsoft.skydrive. And we need to make note of this package name because we're going to use it in that ADB command. So let's go ahead and connect our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And we're going to open up a command prompt within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And again, if you're not familiar with how to install ADB and Fastboot tools, be sure to look in the video description below as I'm going to be having all of the links for all of the requirements right there. Once you have the phone connected, 
we can start off by using the command ADB space devices so that we can make sure our smart or our computer recognizes the smartphone that we have connected. The next thing we're going to need to do is drop into an ADB shell. So we're going to type out the command ADB space shell and press enter. And now this should bring you to a different prompt. It's still going to be a command prompt with the blinking space right there, but it's different than the prompt we were at before. We have dropped into the ADB shell prompt of our smartphone itself. And this is where we're going to type out the command. So the command we're going to use is PM space uninstall space dash K space dash dash user space zero space and then the package name of the application that we want to uninstall. So if you remember the OneDrive package name was com dot Microsoft dot SkyDrive. So with that command typed out, you can see we still have that OneDrive application right there, but once we press enter on the keyboard, we're going to get a success message on our command prompt, and then that application icon is going to disappear because it has been uninstalled from the default user profile. Now we can do this for any of the pre-installed bloatware apps that we have on this device. For example, even though we do not have the actual Facebook application, three Facebook bloatware system apps have been installed on this device and will sit in the background. But thankfully we can remove them and uninstall them using the same methods that we just did. So to remove the Facebook app installer, we're going to take this package name and we're going to plug it into that same command. This time it's going to be PM space uninstall space dash K space dash dash user space zero and then a space before we type out the application package name, which for this one is com.facebook.system. And whenever we press enter on the keyboard, we're going to get a success message in our prompt. And now when we close this application out, swipe it away from memory, open it back up so that it can re-scan for the applications, we can see that the app icon is now gone. And we can do that for the other ones as well. So com.facebook.app manager. I'm going to press enter. We get that success message. Then whenever we swipe this away, open it back up and search for Facebook. Now that second application no longer has an app icon because it has been removed from the current user profile. And I can do it for the third one right here. For com.facebook.services. Once we get the success message on the command prompt, swipe it away, open it back up. and search for the app to make sure that there is no app icon next to that application package name. You should be careful about how you use this ADB command. It is very powerful and uninstalling a critical system app in this way can cause your phone to not function properly. If, for example, you uninstall the wallpaper service using this command, then you're going to get force closes anytime the firmware tries to check the wallpaper service 
on the phone. But for all the bloatware system apps that you find, like Facebook apps, Microsoft apps, Instagram, any of those, just know that you can finally remove those apps with an ADB command and you do not even need root access.